Russia has launched an unprecedented campaign to recruit volunteers for the war against Ukraine as there is a shortage of manpower at the front. The Kremlin is still afraid to announce a new mobilization. The well-known Russian telegram channel Vichik OGPU, which is believed to be connected with the Russian special services, reported about the mass recruitment of Russians. According to the channel, all of Russia is flooded with crazy propaganda for military service. Russians are called to fight by television and other media, all sorts of advertising platforms on the streets and even machines selling metro passes. In addition, military registration and enlistment office employees are on duty at the most crowded places, urging people to sign a contract. Citizens who agree to take part in the so-called SVO are promised huge payments by Russian standards and other bonuses. In addition, according to reports from those who have already gone to the front, the commanders of some areas have been agreed to carry out an action. Come yourself, bring a friend. Now, for one soldier who signs a contract and convinces a person to go to war, they can give him a long-awaited vacation, and in some places they even promise a reward, the Russian resource reported. At present, Russian army fighting against Ukraine is suffering from a severe shortage of manpower and supplies. Traitor of Ukraine? who went over to the side of the Russian Federation, Tatiana Montian, complained about the poor supply of the Russian armed forces, due to which soldiers are forced to either purchase what they need themselves or ask volunteers for help. There is nothing to fight with. I am here buying up tabs by the dozens because, except for tabs, there is no connection. And this is the whirlwind special forces unit and not just some ripped up warriors. Well, that's the situation. What can you do? There is nothing at the front. With such a dynamic development of the situation at the front and in the rear, we can even lose Belgorod. Well, I can't get my head around it. Either don't say that we are going to defeat everyone or do something so that at least something appears at the front, said the fan of the Russian world. She also spoke about the personnel shortage in the Russian armed forces. Four people were killed and 17 others injured when multiple shooters opened fire Saturday in what police described as a targeted hit on one of the people killed at a popular nightlife spot in Birmingham, Alabama. The shooting happened shortly after 11 p.m. Saturday in Five Points South, a district filled with entertainment venues, restaurants, and bars that is often crowded on weekend nights. The mass shooting, one of several this year in the city, unnerved residents in the area and left city officials pleading for help to both solve the crime and address the broader problem of gun violence. The priority is to find these shooters and get them off our streets, Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin said at a Sunday press conference. The shooting occurred on the sidewalk and street outside Hush, a lounge in the entertainment district. Blood stains were visible on the sidewalk outside the venue on Sunday morning. Birmingham Police Chief Scott Thurmond said authorities believe the shooting targeted one of the people who was killed, possibly in a murder for hire. He said a vehicle pulled up and, multiple shooters, got out and began firing, then fled the scene.